Alright. Some actual party play. I'm in Sirius's party now. Let me show the power of the heal ball. Power word shield. So this Instead of healing you, I can just prevent you from taking damage by putting this bubble on you that absorbs 47 damage. So, once 47 damage has been done, the shield wears off and you'd have to, like, have to put another one on you. But I can only cast it every... Motherfucker. You're such a beast now, holy shit. All these Ooh. skills. What's this? A two-handed axe, level five? Oh. Um if you want it, I'm no I'll say uh, greed. Hey, greed. I'll just take I'll just take it and sell it for you. You're you're uh, so again, if I do greed that means that you can have it or what? So it, it just has two different priorities. So if everyone clicks need, then you'd roll against each other. Um, if only one person clicks need, but everyone else clicks greed, then that person who clicked need will just get it 100%. Like they won't have to roll. So basically, if, if more than one person clicks need, you'd have to roll for it. Who gets it? Like, it'll roll a number 1 to 100 for each person. Um, if everyone clicks greed, then you would still would have to roll for it. So basically, actually earlier, I saw, it said a message, blah 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 was banned for ninja looting. And so ninja looting is where... Uh, you, jo you join with a party, and you go into a dungeon, and then you click, uh, everyone else clicks greed, and you say you're gonna click greed, and then you click need last second so you get everything. You know what I mean? And then people are like, hey, what the fuck, I can't get any items because this motherfucker is basically rolling uh, on every- Good as cocksucker, by the way. Oh, so there's an item in your, um, in your bags that looks like a totem or some shit? Looks like a- Claw totem or something, a gnarled branch shit. I don't know. It should have a oh, quest, should have like a golden outline because all quest items have a yeah. Oh, I see. You just uh, have to be near it. Yep. Oh yeah. That's Pretty it. Good. Now, broken tools. Where's that one at? Uh, over this way. But so basically, we don't need to do these quests. You're pretty much high enough level. Um, I just want to do the. I want to do the tools one. That sounds interesting enough. Okay. My actual map. It's over on the left to the behind the village, basically. Over here. Dwarven digging. If I if I left click it, does that mean I actually just track that quest or what? Seem to highlight it. Oh, did it? Where did you, where'd you click it? Just left clicked it. It says the one that says Dwarven Digging on the left of the map. Oh, you clicked it on the map or what? On the map, yeah, I left clicked it. Looks like it's northwest. I don't know. West. I think it's doing something. I don't like how it's trying to do, like, figure out the party and stuff. Like, it's trying to figure out, like, your quests and my quests, and it's a little bit overthinking. I wonder if you could turn that off. Interface, quest help. Oh, solo mode. Ignore party members and disable communication with party members. <laughs> I think I'll I think I'll leave it on. For the most part, we're gonna have the same quest, you know what I mean? How the fuck can I tell where I am on the map? On the map view. Oh, oh I see where I am, okay. You're like a little arrow. Hey, wait, there's, just a lot, there's just a lot happening on that map, that's all. When you open your map, do you see the quest log at all? Or do you not I see can it? Mouse over the, I can mouse over the various quests on the map. So at the very bottom right of the map, there's a little drop-down panel. And these fucking nerds, by the way, the way they write it. 
you can select blobs and panels. Blobs and panels. <laughs> oh. And you can see that shit. I don't really like to see that because I like, just open the quest log separately. So that makes the map smaller. I don't like that. So I'm going to just make it... Uh... Only world map blobs. Yeah. But like... Blobs. <laughs> How about just only world map and panels, you know? Fucking blobs. This guy's fishing over here. Is it a Visible player? shadow freak fishes. Is it a player? Yeah. Oh, do you want to learn fishing from this guy? Mm, no. Do I want to learn that? Uh, yes, yeah. I can learn it. doesn't count as one of your two possible trainings, does it? No. Cooking, fishing, first aid are, like, called secondary professions. The advantage yeah. of us both having fishing is because I don't really usually like to do fishing, except for when you have these, um, fishing spots or whatever, like, uh, the concentrated fish pool, fish pools or something like that, you know what I mean? And it's much easier or much faster to get those with two people both fishing it. I don't even know if they have those in vanilla now that I think about it. I wouldn't know. I haven't seen one yet. I really want to kill. This quest is way the fuck up here. Yeah. You can see it kind of already in the distance there. Those walls that are over there. I'll kill some stupid wolves on the way, might as well. You know, currently this is not leveling me too much as if we weren't partied up or whatever. No, because he's like level 5. I mean, that's the main reason he's like too low level. Once you're like 5 levels above something, it's not really efficient anymore. Or like... And I'll probably avoid, uh, abandon the other quests. Honestly, we should just abandon even this one. <laughs> uh, I kind of, I kind of want to see this one. Okay. Sounds oh. kind of different and interesting. I put a bubble on you, and he immediately attacks me. So later, by the way, we're gonna get an add-on to track the threat. Wait a minute. Can you do something real quick? What's that? Why are those huge? Um, I noticed that some of the buffs are huge and they're not supposed to be on the party. Do you see that? Um... E buffs? I don't even know where that's being shown. So, hold on, before you run in there, can you open your unit frames thingy, the x pearl, And then... Yes? Uh... Is it? Is it under party? It's off though. Where's the debuffs? Party debuffs. Oh, yeah, okay, so click on the party tab. Oh. And then on the right, there's these two slide bars that say party buff size and party debuff size. Ch change the party debuff size to be the same as the party buff size. It's like huge for some reason. That was 32 instead of 22, that's, yeah, weird. Yeah, and then, so, and then the left-click default and click save. Click <sighs> what? Uh, at the left-click default and click save, so you save it. Where's default? 
It should be in yellow in that little box. Uh, I'm not seeing that. It's like the main... The main frame, there's like a box at the lower left. That has all your... Characters listed there. Oh, click there. Default save. Okay. Alright, done. Yeah. By the way, did you see those two druids that I just ran by? Probably not. <laughs> oh, it's about full menu open. Two druid bears just ran by, and there's a thing. They are following each other so close, and their names are so close to each other. These fucking nerds, man, they do this thing called multi boxing, where they have multiple clients running on different. You know, like, I think either are, I don't think they're using different computers. I think they're using different windows of WoW open on their desktop at the same time, right? And then they have some uh, controlling app which sends messages to all of them. So then they can say, like, cast the spell on this target, and like all four of them will attack the same fucking one and shoot like four spells. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes you'll, we're going to encounter these uh, freaks who are running around like a, a tight group of four and shooting fucking four things at everyone. I think it's. Bannable offense, though, so I'm not sure. I have no idea. They go too far, is all I know. I should be helping you fight, I just realized. I should be actually helping you kill shit. I'm just like watching you kill shit. Right. I need a. Uh, requires mining. <laughs> yeah, you, that's why we're gonna go to the city. Run, you fucker. I wonder where we're flagged PvP, that's weird. We just got flagged the PvP. The actual quest is actually, uh... What? Bring five... Sm at a forge, smash the prospector's picks to create broken tools. Okay, so I need to oh. find a... There's a forge right here. There's a forge right here. How many broken tools do I have? Um, okay, uh, how many prospectors? So far I got one. I need to find more of these. Basically all the quests in this game are just murder, murder, and murder, right? Are they too strong? No, I'm good. It's nice when I'm in a group like that. Shit, alright. Nice I'm out of mana. Better kill shit. You better kill shit. I'm trying. Play that murders in a bit. I should be trying to hit. So right now I'm not casting on purpose because my mana actually regens if I haven't casted anything. I'll attack that last one. There's more of them, Jesus. Just hit, get them all off me if you can hit them. Hey, any of them that are attacking me, attack. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Oh, very nice. So I my tried to heal, so bad for healing. Oh fucker! I have a spell called uh, Smite. That's like my main damage spell, kind of. I'm smiting these heathen fucks. <laughs> They're all heathens. <laughs> See how many I've got. Any of those picks? So like Only the fucking two. Jesus. I, I have five. I will smash oh, them. Give me, give me those fucking things. Oh, uh. Fucking dwarven heathen miners over here. The fuck. I can't trade that. Oh, you can't trade quest items. 
<laughs> oh fuck, okay, so I gotta really kill him. More heathens need smiting. But the good news is that um, once your party member has all of them, then all of the looting for the quest item go to you. Even if oh shit. Oh just uh they're all about to attack me here in a second. Oh okay. Try and get them off me. Use your thunderclap thing if you got it. Thunderclap all these fucks. Yeah, there you go. Now they're mad. Very good. See, the thunderclap is specifically used to try and get aggro, actually, on a, on a bunch of dudes at the same time. Oh, yeah, they don't like it. They don't like it. Fucking run free. Yeah, perfect. Stun that. Actually, that wasn't your stun. <laughs> So you have your um, war stomp thingy, you remember that one? Right. That one actually stuns them, and then it'll interrupt their healing. Does it actually do damage too? No, it just stuns them. <laughs> Super low on mana, it's fine. Fucking right. Check how many I have now. We're actually being kind of okay. like we're being super sloppy, by the way. So the fact that we're still alive is actually only because you have a priest with you. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny. Like sometimes when you're running, it sounds like they scream "fuck" and then they go running. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a right. little noise to make, like, ARK! You have enough? Something. You have all the things? Yep, okay. yep, I got five. All right, come over here. I gotta get the fuck out of here. No, no, the, for freaks. the forge is over here. Oh, okay. One moment, we're doing some freaks. Yeah. fucking run. Where's the forge? This shit. This little weird looking thing. Oh, uh, <laughs> With I the see. bellows or whatever, yeah. Just now you have to right click the shit. Want to? I gotta. You gotta right click it in your bag. The uh, little hammers. Moment. Someone needs to die first. Are they random? Don't worry, you know what my guy right. specializes in? Besides healing? Damage over time shit. I'm cursing them and stuff. Alright, it did it. Very good. Perfect, you interrupted the heal, yes. So ideally, let me explain, I guess, the ideal situation for optimal warrior healer strategy. <laughs> um, so if you hit him a little bit, you do enough damage. I can cast the bubble on you so you won't be taking damage because to prevent, you know, it's good to do that so you don't have to, I don't have to heal you until your bubble wears off, basically. Um, and I then see. I can also, so if you hit this fuck, I can put your bubble on you, and on them, I put I put a curse on them. So then they're taking damage over time, and you should be rending them as well, yeah. Then yeah, taking, I, am, I am. Then they take, How like... How can you tell I rended them? You can actually tell my attack I'm doing? I can see the debuff on them when when you rended them. I see. Quite the little digger camp they got going on here. Yeah. 
It's fine, let him run. He's gonna die from the curses and shit. And the bleeding. He's already cursed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a leather. I don't need that. Did greed. Yeah, anytime I'm I'm gonna sell it on the auction house, you should just greet it and I'll need it and then you'll just give it to me. Then I won't have to trade with you and shit. Badly. That was an interesting quest. It was kind of different from the other shit. You know, just running around the plains and collecting stuff. This is a little bit different. What's weird about it is that unique. these, because they're dwarves, it counts it as like you're fighting the alliance, and so you get flagged as PvP. So if some guy happened to run around in the horde starting zone, because sometimes you do see that shit, like they would be able to murder us right now. Because see how your name is green instead of blue? Oh, fuck. When does that wear off? Five minutes, so I should say at the top left. See a little red circle next to your picture? Counting down four minutes. Oh. So, like, every time we killed one of them or hit one of them, it flagged us for five minutes, so it kept resetting the five every time we hit one. Four, four. Look on the left there, that's actually, like, the view distance is quite nice. I think, they, by the they way... Made, they made sure it's the limit. I think that on this private server, the view distance has increased, and so is the... Detection range on the ore nodes and stuff and the spawn, oh, okay. spawn distance, but that's Thunder Bluff. Let's actually let's go turn in the quest and then let's go to Thunder Bluff. It's like you can like see the whole valley, you can see the mountain and like everything on top of it. It's like actually pretty. Can impressive I get a can I get a screenshot here? Yeah, this is pretty impressive actually. For two thousand three, but then of course this is like probably in the vanilla version. You wouldn't even you look that way, you wouldn't even see it until you're like twice as close. Look how big your characters compared to. Uh-huh, right. Scratch ass, yep. Alright, let's turn that shit in. Sir, you have uh, 30 minutes before I uh, must go, so you must decide your time. I know, well, I wanted to just run to the fucking capital, but now you have to run let's back. See, let's you do, do that shit after this. Because you gotta turn your stupid quest in, because you really wanted to do it. <laughs> Oh, I still found this very interesting. It's a cool little area. Yep. The harpy... Experience something unique. The harpy nest is right next to that one. Um, I really hate the harpies, though. You know what the harpies are? Yeah. They're flying uh, female feminists. <laughs> <laughs> and they... And they're For them from King's Quest V. Yeah. The harpy Island. They're annoying in this game because they're usually ranged spell attacks and they heal themselves and they do all this annoying shit. Hey look, Koto Beasts. See that shit? Look, let's run up to them and look at them. They're the full see the full size Koto Beast before they turn miniaturized. Why are these ones full size? Because they're wild. So for I some see. reason when you be becomes your mount, this is how big they used to be when you'd ride them. They'd be this fucking big. No, yeah. don't attack! No, run away! Fuck! Oh, I accidentally oh, attacked oh. one! No, 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 no! What the fuck? I accidentally right click one, I didn't mean to. Holy Jesus shit. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. As long as they don't attack me, holy shit. They're coming for you as soon as they're done with me. Is your... No, what? I didn't attack them. Are they not coming for you? No. Whew. I survived with my my priest bubble. <laughs> I was just peacefully viewing them. <laughs> I accidentally right clicked one and I hit it with my little hammer, which, <laughs> which does like... No damage, and then they're uh, programmed to uh, defend each other. You know, oh, take this one out. The fucking oh shit, they're, they're coming. Oh, they oh, no, they're coming. Fuck, run. Never mind, run away. Run <laughs> away. What happens if you kill one? What do you get out of it? You can skin them. You can get their leather. The leather workers. Well, this one's definitely out. by itself, isn't it? Well, for some reason, the other ones come though. You want to try and kill it now? Now the other ones are kind of out of range. Yeah, you attack it first. Oh, what the f We're running to catch up with them. Cocksucker. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, they're like well. they're like level 12 and shit, so... And there's four of them, so it's really hard to kill. But by the way... I just fucking had him, but and they yes, ran away like a bitch. Guess what, by the way? That's one of the things they changed in the Wrath of the Lich King. That when you attack one, the other ones don't even attack you. Oh my god. Like, why? That's so cool that they all try to gang rape you. I complained. Wah, wah. 
It's like they're really worried that like someone's gonna be going along, they're gonna attack one of those things, they're gonna get raped, and then they're gonna be like, quit the game. So then they all these decisions they make are about like making sure that they never throw their controller, they never quit the game. Just keep them inside keep them inside the fold. <laughs> At the cost of sacrificing the actual game. Yeah, actual, the, uh, yeah it's a, isn't that a cool, gameplay. cool, unique thing that you'd have, like, a herd of beasts attack you? Oh, I've been expecting you. See what you're saying, uh, I can get much better leggings for this quest. Oh, what about yes. the bind? No, no, the bind, uh... Why, why? What's, what's better about those? They were male versus these ones are leather. Oh, fuck. Whatever. What does it even mean for my character? Well, did you even have any bindings, first of all? Yeah, I had a... Let's see. Walk with the earth, mother. They're the wrist what's item. What's a binding, actually? That's a, it's a wrist harness, item. or...? No, wrist item. I don't even know if you had any. Gloves? Does the gloves count as that? Nope, there's like separate slot for your wrist. It's down at the very bottom left, actually. Oh yeah, I have uh, flimsy chain bracers. Oh. oh, you already oh. had you already had a male one, then it sounds like. Yeah. But in general, the male items have twice the armor as leather ones, so we should always be looking for male versus leather I shit. I see. You could still use leather shit, but most of the time it's probably not good for you. So I just noticed that the leggings I had are seventeen armor, and this one this one's forty three. So that's why I picked that one. I will check if I have any mail items for you. Nope. I level to a 10. All right, good, perfect. Uh, get your level 10 shit here. I'm the trainer, and uh, he'll actually send you on a warrior quest, I think, right? I'm not sure. Greetings. Rend rank 2. Nice. That's good. You have, does he give you a quest? Wait, Blood Rage, what is that? Um, that when you push it, you'll sacrifice some health, like 7% or some tiny amount, and you'll get, gain like 20 rage over time. So also, if you mouse over your charge attack, that will also say, give you rage. It'll say, charge the enemy, stun them for one second, and give you rage, right? That's what charge does. Oh, I see. So it's very good to charge... Uh, dudes at the beginning of every fight, not because you fly over to them, which is also an advantage, but because you gain a bunch of rage, which means you can immediately do a rend, and you can, do, and then, you know? Usually that's what I use the rage for, is to do a rend right away on a guy. I see. But if you do blood rage, that means you can now immediately do a rend and a heroic strike and, you know, whatever the fuck. And a quest to speak with, uh, some clown. Called Uzek something. Where? Does it say where in the quest? Speak with Uzek at Far Watch Post. Is this worth even doing? That's your warrior quest. It's to learn defensive stance. So yeah, you have to do it. Oh, okay. When you check your quest log, it'll actually say the category will actually be warrior. I have a priest oh, yeah, quest. It is, yeah. So, um, usually you learn skills from those. So you learn like a defensive stance or. Uh, I should you, abandon these stupid ones like. Uh, the eight Talon ones for Dangers of the Wind Fear. I'm going to abandon that, right? Yeah. And then I have one called Mazra Nash or something. This is the Wolf Heart Flatland Cougar Femur. Yeah, do you, are you close to getting it? Do you still, how many do you need? I need, um, I have the Wolf Heart, I have the Scale, I need the Cougar Femur and the Swoop Gizzard. Just, Apparently. just keep it because we might, uh, you might be able to finish it because we, we have to run to Thunder Bluff and then we're gonna have to come back this way and you might be able to finish it on the way. So, now uh, do you want to do another video for that or, or no? No, let's go. To, there's still only 29 minutes. Let's go to Thunder Bluff. Let's do it. To the city. Finally. So, do you remember? Stormwind was basically like you'd get, go to Goldshire and then you're doing quests around there and then you go to Stormwind City. So it's the same progression yeah. every time yeah. for every start zone. It's like 
Start your little tiny a area. Cougar or a swoop anywhere. Let me yeah. know. Yeah, they're usually on the way. This way. Definitely the view distance is massively upgraded because you could look how far you could see. See that yep. mountain up there. You could already see Thunder Bluff. You could even see the buildings and shit instead of just the shape of it. Sometimes that would be cast in that gray uh, overlay shit or whatever. The Ooh, you, you don't see think the... the computers of 2000s would have handled this? See that this Zeppelin? See the Zeppelin yep. flying? That shit travels to the other capital city. You can actually take it between the two cities. I you need might... your gizzard, you freak. Stunned this idiot. I got his gizzard. <laughs> oh. Oh, you got a gizzard too. Nice. You I listen. also got it, yeah. Very nice. Where's the cougar at? I haven't even seen one of those yet. Cougar is this way. Yeah. Cougars and wolves basically between us and the city. There's a cougar. And bring it this way. Thunder clap you with my butt cheeks. Got, Got it. Quest done. Nice. Ah, uh, let's just go back and turn it in. <laughs> so close. Are we even be coming back here afterwards? Probably. Uh, Probably. I, I was gonna run this way to um. Run so we're trying to go. You know how Westfall, remember Westfall from Elven Forest out to the west of it or whatever? So, for this one, you'd go to this place called the Barrens, which is right next to here. Um, then when I saw the Zeppelin, I realized we actually want to take the Zeppelin from Thunder Bluff to Orgrimmar, the other capital city, and approach Barrens from the other direction just so you could see both capital cities. So, I think it'd be better if we turn this in and then we don't have to come back this way. The only thing that's really dumb in this game is the um, cloaks look really stupid. Oh yeah, you can, <laughs> you can disable them. Right, I remember. But they just, I think it's funny how this is how they chose to do the cloaks. They're like these weird little... Uh, they're... Tiny, no, tiny, no, stupid... No, 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 that's just how the beginner cloak what stuff like. Oh, okay. Alright. So make sure you choose the male one here. Yeah, so... 70 armor... Runner boots, which is uh, how do you tell it's male? That's his male. Yeah. The other one's like a wrist for 23, which is leather. Yeah. So definitely these boots are beast. Put these boots on. They're can super good. Inspect you. Like total armor now. Well, your boots still say uh, leather boots. What? What? Now I'm wearing a uh, male cliff runner boots. Male. 70 armor. Oh, I guess I needed to reinspect you. It wasn't updated. Yeah, so. And it looks like you're wearing a diaper for your. <laughs> your pants. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Rough least... hewn Kodo leggings. 45 armor, though. The total armor is 317. That's Is that decent? Yeah, so for mine, for example, is. Uh... 99. And I'm wearing a full setup just because it's all cloth. So you've got like th more than three times the as much armor. Which is why you're the Look tank, pretty. basically. Yeah. That's why you're the tank, because you got just just by the very fact that you can wear male armor. Which, by the way, when once you reach level 40, you can wear plate armor instead of male, which has even more armor. Um, certain characters, like the hunter, can wear leather, and then at 40, they can actually wear mail. Um, a lot of the other characters that are leather can just only wear leather forever. And cloth characters, they just wear cloth the whole time, so. So the plate is the, the most beast armor, and also looks the coolest. I'm gonna run along the actual path. Yeah, and when you do that, there's actually fewer enemies. Kinda cool. There's one He's, idiot, though. Yeah, that's a swoop idiot. Did we kill it? Yes, I hate him. Ah. 
Lead that fucker. Rend him? Yeah. You want to do the rend like at the very beginning of the fight so that way it does the most amount of... Like, the way those damage over time things work is there's a tick system in the game. Tattoo system, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Where they, um, every... Gary, and that just means tick, but it's like in a way of calling someone like a... Like a wood tick. Like a fucking like insect. A, like you're a, you're a fucking parasite tick, yeah. Yeah. But so it's like a, every three seconds or something, there's a tick. Um... And it'll do like a little bit of damage. So if you're fighting them for like nine seconds, you'll get like three ticks of damage. So, but if you only put it on near the end of the fight, you're only going to get like one tick out of it, you know? So like to maximize the damage of those skills, you have to put them on at the beginning of the fight, basically. Um, it's ready now. What mod is that that pops up saying whatever's ready? Uh, that's called... I believe it's sucker over here. Dude, look how he's got this. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Um, you see the bleed on them, but also I have this curse I put on them, which has like a orange glowing fiery skull. That's my main curse called uh, Shadow Word Pain. Cause them pain. Poor bastard wolf attacks, and suddenly he's cursed and bleeding. He doesn't Wait, even know what's going on. Wait, you had a question I forgot. Things are happening to him. What did you ask him for that wolf attacked us? You said something. Yeah, no. Don't you know? Yeah, I don't remember. I see many unknown things. This is kind of a cool path leading up. I like this shit. Yeah, so this is... I, I like these... Uh, hordes of these hills cities. to the left? These yeah. hills to the left is very, like, Unreal Engine 2. Like, remember the second Unreal game called, well, Unreal 2? Remember that one from 2003? You mean, like, it the, was very, um, uh... Is it raining? graphics a lot for that year. It's sort of raining, I think. As yeah, I, rain, I, yeah, you're talking about, like, it, like these terrain deforming... It would it would have specifically these mountains that look like that. That was an Unreal 2 engine thing. That's the first time they had mountains. Do you remember that? Like that? Uh, here, stand on this. Do you remember that uh, thing called... Rice, like a 3D yep. mountain rendering program or whatever the fuck. It made these kind of like uh, texture or what do you call it? terrain morphing landscapes or whatever the fuck, right? Oh, and then another game that had mountains like this was like uh, uh, Star Siege Tribes would have this, like, you know, like it's actually oh, yeah. one of the first games that had mountains that look like that. And then you Today, see that kind of more advanced version of this yeah. is like Rust. First original rust, but yeah. like mountains like this were slightly nicer. These, these uh, are to be called shit today, <laughs> according to today's standards, right? Yeah. Just like the like that's like the range of how. But they make it work the in this game, kind process. of. Right, so a few things of business to do here. Go in here, and then get your mining. Going where? I ran off this tent here. Motherfucker, go. To the left. This one. <laughs> Get mining. Train me, you beast. First thing only costs like 10 copper. You need a mining pick. You though. know, two professions at any one time. Okay, I guess I want to be a miner. And then talk to this clown for your mining pick. Need anything else from him? No. No. To this one, how many yeah, other dude the mining is I, I can sell my trash to him. Yeah. Oh, I have just the thing for you. Whenever there's an opportunity to sell trash, you should take it. Yeah, I have a simple dagger here. I can't use daggers. Do you want it? Three oh, to what? six damage looks like shit. What does the DPS say? Uh, 2.5. No, mine's higher. Sell it. Alright, um, sold everything. Oh yeah, I gave you those potions, I forgot to tell you to use it. <laughs> Strength potion, don't use it, don't use it now, but... Let me trade you. Ancestors Got a more meat and stuff to give you. Excellent. I should put it in my bank. 
deal with it later. All right, and then you want to get blacksmithing, which is right here. Yeah, and I learned mining, and the guy just goes, well, you see this thing, you take this, this pick, you swing it, hit the rock, and now you're a miner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the what, 30 second lesson, five seconds. Yeah. All right, the blacksmithing, oh, this one, journeyman blacksmith, this one. Peace, friend. Learn that shit. Two skills. Yep, and then get your. You need a blacksmith hammer. For this one. I can also learn copper chain pants, so I should learn that, right? Yeah. So every five and, levels, uh, you learn more shit from the trainer. Get a blacksmithing uh, hammer. Hammer. I'm an expert. Just right. like that. Oh, and then also one more thing, which is let's go to the inn, just here. I like this thunder bluff because everything is really close to each other. Like, um, it is, it's, like, it's like one of the smallest tight-fitting villages I've seen yet in this game, which is good. Yeah, Stormwind is super spread out, yeah. We'll make this in your home. And then uh, the bank is over here. But I don't want a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you ran past it. Come back here. Fuck. I don't want a credit card. I don't want to pay uh, interest. Oh. <laughs> pay too much already in real life. <laughs> I'm, just putting my, I'm just putting my shit away. Deal with later. After you're offline, I will deal with this. Oh, did you get fishing, but you didn't get a uh, fishing pole? I believe so, let's go. Did not buy a fishing rod. Which, uh, I think that, that guy you got fishing from doesn't sell it. It was on the other side of the village, so whatever the fuck. Let's go to the back here. I'll show you another place, which is the uh, auction house. It's outside, which is... A lot of times people will use the city for auctioning because they can use their mount because all the other... Auction houses, you have to go inside a building, which automatically dismounts you. We we'll talk to this guy. Uh, I have Not that you have to actually do anything here, so... So just close that shit. Is it because the SEC hasn't approved the Bitcoin yet, so they're like, you have to have <laughs> the auction house outside of the city for now until we approve them? <laughs> this is an unsanctioned city here yet. First, you have to trade on Chinese uh, crypto sites before, because there's not a lot in America yeah. yet. Oh, uh, you know what? Talk to this person. Can you buy a bow? You wish to speak? Uh, um, yes, but I can't use it. It says requires these all require like level 11, actually, 20, sorry. 16. Uh, can you come down here real quick again? Can you come, let's go back down. I forgot to talk to one person. We're going through a tree. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that uh, tree thing separates the three elevations. That's very cool, actually. It's uh, how much uh, you know, so that was inspired by the great Deku tree in Zelda for sure. Oh yeah, so they did that shit. I think that's why. Well, probably. How much silver do you have? Uh, I bought a bunch of shit, so I have less than I had, but I have still got ten. I talked to this guy. Weapon master. Where is he? Oh. Can he train you anything? Yeah, he can train me st staves, staves, and guns. Alright, did you? Well, would you, you just do staves right Fuck, there? I'm an idiot. I just I thought I could buy both, but I just got staves. I was about to say it's cost ten silver each. Alright, you want guns? So I'll, just, I'll just give you money. <laughs> motherfucker. Give me that money, motherfucker. You wouldn't even have bought a staff. <laughs> well, whatever. What is it even? But it's better. What if it's... I find a cool one or something on the way now? I could use it. Yeah, actually. So with the warrior, you can pretty much use every weapon type in the game, which is why warriors are so cool. You can use nice. everything. So you eventually want to. If you talk to him again, and this time choose, what can other weapon masters teach me? 
they'll tell you that wow. the one in Orgrimmar can teach you two-headed axes and thrown weapons. The troll in Orgrimmar can teach you two-handed axes, stabs, and thrown weapons. Okay, where's the one who teaches bows? And it says thing? Archibald. Archibald in the alleyway can teach you buggery in the alleyway. No! No, buggery means? Oh, shit, what? It means, like, a bum diddler. That's the, that was a term <laughs> back in the, in the medieval times. Buggery was the actual... Who can teach you bow? The undead guy? Uh, um, the say... Was it Archibald? Here he says crossbows, but who's which one says bow? Um, yeah, you no, know, this one's crossbows, daggers. Um, oh, uh, just a Sayok. Sayok, the orc weapon master. Okay, see, I, my character can't learn. Oh, it does say bows there, I'm blind. Uh, okay, yeah, bow. All right, so, so then, uh, do you actually need a gun instead of a, a bow? Where the fuck is the gun vendor? Um, I think I know where he is. Uh, I like games really have like old, old style, oldie style, you know? Like, for example, Vermintide has this where they have guns, but they're all old style, like, you know, those rifles from like yeah. old style western rifle or like flintlock pistol. And it, that's basically like, that's the kind of guns we would have. We, we, we won't, won't have anything modern. No, no, no. That's how it is in this too, but. We can't have that. So this one only sells bows, but. Um, I want to just show you this area here, which is the kind of like crafting. So the mining shit was down there, but like skinning, leatherworking, tailoring is all in here. I like this, I like this much better than that storm wind because it's like so big. It's just needlessly large, you know. The city there's, is so fucking. There's a lot of like just empty space with empty non-usable houses and shit, right? And you just have to fucking run through all this fucking space because they're trying to make it seem big and epic and. Yeah, this is enchanting. It's just too much. This is alchemy. There's a basket weaver. I don't even know what the point of this is. Oh, he sells bags. Uh, oh. Don't buy. Don't buy that. Don't buy that. Be careful. Because you can get it cheaper on the auction house, actually, on the server. Saving my little, saving my little five silver. I only got, me. I only got four left. So motherfucker, yeah. there's the, the herbalism. Yeah. Fruit vendor. Uh, I don't know why you'd want fruit. That's just food you can eat. You're a, you're a fruit vendor. <laughs> it's why, why does it sound offensive? <laughs> yeah. All right, then this one up yeah, here. That's your real life fruit vendor. <laughs> <laughs> why is there a fourth floor? Why is there a fourth level? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, go look. We gotta go up there too, actually. Going and going. We gotta go up there, so... Uh, fucking that's... never ends. Yep, this is where the flight master is. So we actually should... Oh, talk... that makes sense. Talk to this person and then... Hey. I know. I need to run. Goodbye. I'm mine's connected to Orgrimmar. Is yours? I uh, you don't have any known locations. <laughs> okay, so we gotta take the Zeppelin to Orgrimmar. Um, All right. But let's go down to this other floor. And then I could fly. Yeah. I don't know. I find this this village's layout and stuff much more interesting, design wise than than Stormwind. Let's take a let's take a screenshot right here, actually. Stormwind would be fucking typical boring shit compared to this. Look this way. Someone like watching this is like Stormwind's my favorite city. Rage, rage. They have a rage attack. It's being captured. There. I should extract it from the video, but I did a screen capture anyway. All right, and then cooking trainer here. You don't need to deal with that. I'll do all the cooking. <laughs> uh, yes. Here's the gun. Gun. Merchant. See, look, they have their little. Look, this is what you're talking about. These old style muskets and shit, old right? Old style muskets and flint, flintlock pistols. Arbalest. Shit. Uh, yeah. Or no, it's not arbalest. It's uh, arbalest is a crossbow. Um, uh, I forget the word, but there's an A word for these ones that have the uh, blunder. Uh, it's not A. It's blunder. Blunderbuss. Hmm. Blunderbuss. Yeah. All right, so early you, version of a shotgun, really. Can you buy like the che what's the what's the cheapest one you can afford? The, you know, it doesn't really matter because or silver, ornate blunderbuss. 
Four to nine damage. It's shit. It's not even worth. Just buy. Anymore. Just buy. Just buy the the even worse one. The the solid one. Buy that one. Three to six damage. Jesus. So the point of that gun for your warrior is to build a whole enemies out of the little group so they oh, run okay. towards you so you really just use it to shoot them once you're not even trying to use it to kill them your character um, shoots way too slow light shot or heavy shot do i buy uh the heavy shot because you're level 10 already it does more damage so just buy one right. by one stack of that shit solid shot requires level 25 holy shit so if you're a hunter by the way you go through hundreds of these ammos in like just like an hour but as yeah. a warrior, you only use like one per enemy or even less than that because you don't have to pull them all from range, you know? Ooh. So the 200 should be more than enough. All right. Uh, now let's go talk to the, the chief. <laughs> what else do you want to do on this before I got to go here? The chief. Let's go talk to the chief. You accomplished much in an hour or so. Yeah. 51 minutes, let's try and cut it under an hour, yeah. Here's just the chief, I don't know why we're looking at him, but he's here. He doesn't even have a quest or anything, he just talks to you and says goodbye. I think later he'll give you a quest or something, but yeah. But I so, see. if the Alliance come attack the city, this is one of their objectives to kill, is the chief. Oh, I see. So they usually fight him out here in the pit here. I'm um, fishing. This looks pretty cool with the rain. I mean, it's uh, very, very different probably when it's not raining. Yeah, it's usually, and also because it's night. I, I wish we could see it in the daytime. I'm going to play it at, at, in the daytime sometime. You know? Come yeah. here, talk to this fishing supplies person. Oh, it's weird. It's been nighttime in here since I got in here. But it's been daytime for me for the last few hours. In real life, so this follows some fucking different hours. Yeah, shit. it's because the server's like in England or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Talk to the fishing supplies and buy a fishing, fishing pole. pole. Got it. All right, that's it. And then any bobble. Be careful. You can buy one of those. Yeah, just one to help you for your low-level fishing. Which, by the way. They made it obsolete later on, once again, another stupid change. If you try and fish without it in this basic original version, you won't catch any fish like two or two thirds of the time. All right, come, uh, come this way real quick. I want to show you your warrior trainer. You can see the complaint for that, by the way. I went fishing, I didn't buy the thing, but I still want to win. Why can't I just get the fish? And then they go, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, it's sad. Alright, so the the city's actually a little bit bigger than that. If you look open your map, you notice it has the main center, which you see the very center, you see the Deku tree or whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. And you see the three kind of like main circles that are clustered around it, but then you see these three floating island thingies that are connected with the bridges. So the spirit rise, the elder rise, and the hunter rise. I see. So, but they're like specialized. So the hunter rise is where the warrior and the hunter trainer is. We don't even need to run over there because you already trained your skills. I just want to look at it. Um, a spirit rise is my he my priest trainer and stuff like that. The elder rise is like the druid and the shaman, I believe. So just it's basically class trainers. So you don't, there's no reason to run over there for the most part. Wonder when I first played this game, like a year ago or two with you, uh, what was that one place where it's like a also, circle centric, centric based. Um, you had like this large building in the middle, and then it'd be like Red Cliff Canyon area, with buildings around it on the outside. And you'd run up around. What place was that? Red Cliff Canyon. What? What were we playing? Oh, um, or Orgrimmar. Like Orc area, maybe or something. Oh, Orgrimmar. You actually went. You've seen that? Fuck. Yeah, yeah. It was like a like a giant central building, and then did you go all the way to the bottom? Yep. Yeah. Similar to this design where like everything was kind of cent central laid out. So you've actually seen Orgrimmar. We're actually about to go there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let's go let's go run here. Um so the Zeppelin which goes there leads from over here. 
And I'm pretty sure the Zeppelin did not exist in the original vanilla. I don't remember it. Um, but because this server has like a special, some special stuff. Watch out, don't fall off here. It's kind of I'm not used to it. It's easy to fall. I mean, it's, it's easy to fall because the, the ladder or the bridge is not aligned with the door. So if you run out the door and you go straight, you'll run off. Let's see. But look, uh, look in here real quick. This is like the underground shit here. Pools of vision. This is where the warlock trainer is and the mage trainer, I believe. It's kind of like the evil shit. Oh. Oh, very cool. Yeah, let's go back up. Gotta make sure we don't miss the fucking Zeppelin. Or we'll wait. Like every 10 minutes? Yeah, like 5 or something. This one's the slowest Zeppelin out of all of them because it actually doesn't teleport, it actually flies the whole way. The other thing that's over here is the first aid trainer, but we don't care about that shit. The priest trainer. Basically all the healing and magic related shit. Now make sure you don't drop off here. You'll definitely miss the Zeppelin coming back up. You'll fucking die as far this is. Oh shit, okay. But you know Not what, Mike? Not only will you miss the Zeppelin, you will also die. <laughs> My priest later will get a floating spell where I can levitate. I can just jump off, cast that, and float down, and then I can reach the ground. <laughs> Oh, nice. But, you know, and the thing that I like about this game is how there's no level transition between outside of the city and inside the city. Like, it's all seamless. So if you see, you yeah. see the enemies down there below, you see an herb down there, you'd be like, oh, fuck, I better jump down to get it. And um, I remember a guild, oh, here it is. I remember guild wars, every time you go inside a fucking city, it would load. Yep. It's pretty advanced for the year this shit came out. Make sure you don't, ju advanced. don't jump off this one. <laughs> you jumped off the boat. <laughs> What's underneath here? Little rear exit where you can fucking jump off. <laughs> Another way to potentially fuck it up. I'm not even going to go near it because I'm fucking on the laptop. I feel like I might accidentally click or something and then... Actually, you know what? Uh, without the push... To move, it's actually less likely to fuck it up, isn't it? Yeah. I prefer it this way, yeah. So we're just yeah. gonna go to this other city and then just log out there? Pretty much. So, right. um. I gotta take a nap, I realized. That's so why. If you, so if you hit open your map, and then right click on the map and then you can see uh, mouse over like the zone that we're in and you know it's called Mulgor and you see if you mouse over to the right of that it says Barons which is like a really big one ah actually wait uh, close your map and reopen it because now we're leaving the city it's actually showing the Mulgor map and she see, see on the right it says the Barons over there yeah God damn it, it went back into the city. Uh, out of the city, back into the city, out of the city. Fuck's sake. See so it says, confused, it doesn't know what's happening. You see how it says the Barons over there, though? That's kind of like yeah. the level 10, that's your Westfall. Um, and so to the left of that is Mogor, and to the north of that is Duratar, which is the Orc starting zone, and they both lead into the Barons. For this area, it's called Bramble Blade Ravine. That's quite a word. Bramble Blade. Whoever thought of that fucking shit? Congratulations. <laughs> Pretty cool. I'm gonna abandon this quest. Bramble Blade. Where does it say that? Oh, Bramble Blade I'm Ravine. On the bottom. Bramble Blade R Ravine. Poet Laureate. <laughs> What's that? He's the Poet Laureate of Blizzard. I don't know. Yes. All right, look, okay, close your map and look at where we're flying. Yeah, we're going out to the red, the red Arizona area. Flying over, and this oh, is... Barrens. The, this is the Barrens. It's like a grasslands. Red rock grasslands, kind of. Utah. It's Utah. Where's the Mormons? See any Mormons? <laughs> yes, they're down below screaming, Yeah, gods, they're out, God! Ah! I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know what they're all about. I don't really know. 
they believe that they will each have their own planet or something when they die, as long and as they don't drink, fuck. as long Jesus as they don't drink Christ. any caffeine or any drugs at all, you know. Oh God! <laughs> your planet. What do you get on your planet? Nothing. It's barren, but it's all yours. You're the only one there. You have it all to yourself. Wow. It's not, it's not quite like the thousand virgins or whatever the fuck, but a barren planet, all for you. <laughs> Uh, so look, the Barrens is like, on it. it's like grasslands, but it also has these giant kind of mountains. See these kind of big mountains and shit? Yeah. Do they have a server where they just unlock the view distance like fucking infinitely, like they even ten times further? At the rate of your uh, CPU, but you can see like, there's no black shading, it's just all the way fucking unlocked. Do they have not, such a thing? Not that I've ever seen, which, by the way, yeah. it's ridiculous that it's even server-based because yeah. it should be local. Except for you just can't see the little, the, the player. No, but it has to be right? fair. If one player can see so far, the other one has to see so far, because somehow it might be an advantage. But like, see, because it's all, all the data is local, right? I mean, yeah. except for like the, maybe the enemies and the players, because like the enemies, maybe they, they're dead, so they shouldn't be there, you know what I mean? Because that's like networked. But like the fucking yeah. geography is not changing, so that could be local. Yeah. If you have a really beast video card, you should be able to choose. Just unlimited view distance. You can see, like, oh, right, now I do remember this area. Yep. This is Durotar. This is the red. Yeah. Remember, I saw this. Oh, I like how the propeller turned off. It's coasting. <laughs> Durotar. Look to the left. That's the giant. That's the city. Orgrimmar there. The castle yeah. wall there. Yeah, I remember this. That's very cool. Is this where it lands? Right here? Yep. So I'm pretty sure this tower is not here in the original game. I don't remember, I don't know, I think I remember this shit though. There's an, another tower that's on the other side of the road, which is there in the original one, but this one was added like in a later edition. But so they this definitely is like... designed some cool things for this game, I will admit. Cool areas were created, crafted. Stupid yeah. Scorpion wants to attack. I think it gets cooler, the higher levels. Which is why we must make it past level 20 this time. We'll get yeah. your mount, you'll get your... A few boar. The idiot, the idiot attacks. Idiot boar! Let's kill it, I guess. Stun him. Clap everything. Smite. Smite that heathen. <laughs> non believer! <laughs> non believer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know one thing I could do to make it so you catch up to me? If, on the server, you could right click your experience. I could uh -huh. change it to 1x. One, one, one oh. Know? And then re enable it later. Great. There's, there's the other Zeppelin there, you see there in the distance. That one goes to Undercity, which is, we're gonna have to visit there probably next time. It's like, I need to- Wipe me baby one more time. <laughs> oh, a wipe is when you get your whole party killed at, in a dungeon. I it's see. called a wipe. So that, that means like you pulled too many of them, or, or you got your healer killed because you didn't do damage on the, all of them, and you know? So this guy, had a reference to a Britney Spears song that's 30 years old, 25 right. years old. Nice. Orgrimmar. This, you actually remember this shit. I, yeah. I forgot you came over here because we were playing Blood Elf and then we ran straight to here right away. It's one of the first places I saw in this game ever. Yeah, alright, let's go to the, um, uh, the inn, just here. So, are we gonna go back to Thunder Bluff, or are we gonna use? We should probably use this city. Whatever I don't know. Whatever you want to do, honestly. This I have like, no idea what I'm doing in this game. So, whatever areas you think is more interesting. Here's the innkeeper. Talk to this. Person. Oh, underneath this big idiot over here. There's like a little orc Lord behind there. To the I hate how players do that shit. It's in your home, right? Yep. So if you hearth, you'll go here. And if you ever need to go back to Thunder Bluff, you can just can ride the Zeppelin or whatever, or take the flight. Oh, let's get the flight. The 
flight path is better just because like you don't have to wait for it basically but it costs money so if you're a bum you don't have any money then you take the zeppelin yeah Uh, this is like the main city where everyone hangs out. Like, did you see how very few people were in the... Yeah. Over here, there's always people doing shit, weird shit. Yep, I can tell this is a hub of activity. And like, later, um, in the uh, future expansions, there's a, f a floating city called Dalaran, which like, floats in the sky. And you can actually fly to it with your flying mount and just fly right into it. It's fucking so awesome. And you just like take off and fly down to the land below. Um, I would that, like to see that, yes. That becomes the main hub because everything's purposefully put very close to each other, even more so than Thunder Bluff. So they purposefully thought, like, how can we make players like the city more? And then they put like all the main shit near each other. Here's the train. Here's the very cool. Did you go? This is right here. We're not about to fly out right now, are we? No, just talk to him so you pick it up. Oh. He should he should do like a little sound or whatever. You fly past discovered. Yeah. Um very good. Anything else we're gonna do here was uh Uh yeah, no, we'll just do that next time. We're gonna go to the Barons and start doing quests there basically. Alright. Um, Till next time, no outro. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's do one more thing. How much money do you have? Uh, four silver. Eight silver. So, over eight over here, jump down. No damage? No, you take it, but it's just not that much. And then go into the auction house here. And, uh, buy yourself two more bags, because I think you only have two, right? How many bags do you have? I only have two, yeah. We'll talk to this auctioneer, we'll bang or whatever the fuck, or whatever. And, uh, at the left, oh fuck, my push to talk button drags the interface. Jesus Christ, that's really annoying. Oh. Huh. Why? Mine doesn't. It's, uh, scroll lock, it's not doing anything. Oh, it's because I'm not using scroll lock. I actually bound mouse five. I don't have like Logitech mouse. So I don't have like Logitech software installed. I don't have the <laughs> you know all these problems. So it's really annoying. Like when I push that button, it actually goes back in Windows Explorer and annoying shit like that. Shit. All right, so cl click container at the left. Bag, just regular bag. Regular bag, and then search and sort it by price. So it's like got the cheapest shit. Um, the cheapest is 45 silver? What? Uh, wait. It's gonna be what? Uh, click to the... Uh, click to the... Click forward a page no, and click, click back a page. I to, to click it a few times. Now, I found the cheapest, which is like... Six Five so. silver and shit. Oh, fuck. Um, don't buy that. Ah, uh, fuck. Six six slot bags for. F uh, it's not worth it because you could buy silver, it. Silver, not worth it, is it? You can buy it from the vendor for four point five or five or something, but if you look at the, the next one, which you see, it says eye level, it goes five and then it goes fifteen. Eye level, where is that? It's like next. It's one of the columns next to. It's in the middle, kind of next to. Oh, I L B L, yeah. So that, is like. How many slots it is you can tell from that so 15 oh. is, is an eight slot which you know it's like they should have a well no they won't have a column for bag slots because this is like a must work yeah. for all all items interface you, you know buy some shitty six slot for fucking five silver not worth it well, yeah so you could just buy i'll just buy you the bags actually so can you uh, you, the money. Keep, you keep your money i'll probably have money to buy one of my other characters actually you gotta you gotta play something you gotta do oh. something, so you're gonna be playing. Well, I just have like a character that I farm ore with, and I sell it. So oh, okay. I'll just do that. So just right. log out right here. Yeah. Okay. okay so next, next time, time we'll next time we'll hit the barons and shit. So yeah.
ending stream. No, no outro. Here's your outro. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oops, sounds yeah, lovely. <laughs>